Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerd Slayer, yo. I'm Il Juancho, and uh, as always, of course, and I'm joined here by my co-host, Jay Angelo. Hey, how you doing? I'm quite well. How are you? Good, sir. Pretty good. Just, just got home. Yeah. All right, man. Today's Monday. August 14th, and uh, we're going to throw you guys some more of the lovely nerd stuff. Oh, and uh, Jay appears to have left me. But, oh, now he's back. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm still here. You're always there. <laughs> You're just levitating. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, uh, Jay, you... Heard a little rumor, or you just found out right now, actually, before we got on. I was telling you the show's notes. Craven is going to have the return of Vulture. What do you think? At first, I was surprised, but then now thinking about it, uh, it's probably going to be Vulture and Morbius with (laughs) Craven. They don't know how they got there. Yeah. I was surprised at first, but then, yeah. That's probably. Honestly, I'm, I'm with you. I'm like, I'm surprised, but at the same time, I'm not. Yeah. Maybe it's just me hoping that, like, given the bad reception of Morbius, the next time we'd see Vulture would be with him and reuniting with a. Uh, Spidey. But, yeah. yeah. But then again, think about it too. This movie is getting delayed by a year. So they could still change it up a bit. Maybe yeah. they'll cut it out. Maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe they'll replace him with you. You just show up. <laughs> I might actually make this story. Uh, comprehensive. Yeah. Well, again, people, this is a rumor, so take it for take it as a grain of salt. It's not confirmed yet. But yeah, and what is confirmed though? Uh, the last Ronin. Oh. Was announced during THQ's uh, game showcase. Did, did you see about it last round in the new Ninja Turtles game? Yeah, I did, actually. What do you think of it? So, oh, since you're practically in it. <laughs> oh, spoilers, if you haven't read the comic. Um, I, I actually have um, it's about high hopes because from the rumors that was like said before like the game got announced, it said it was going to be like a God of War type style. Um, I think they said 2018 God of War type style game. And I mean, I, I love the 2018 Ragnarok one. I I like the Ninja Turtles. And I mean, The Last Roman is a great storyline. So uh, I would say I have high hopes. And um, THQ, they've made the uh, the SpongeBob games. So, what's it called? Uh, was it War for Bikini Bottom? So, so you Battle for Bikini Bottom? Play like Battle for Bikini Bottom. And the remake. Yeah, the remake. Yeah. I, 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 so. And then they just made uh, the Cosmic Shape. Yeah. You said you hadn't played that one yet, right? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played that one yet. Yeah. One day, though. Yeah, one day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll have to... It did say end development, so it's going to be quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, Mew and Mayhem is enjoying its box office run. It's, I think it's already made back its money, from my understanding, from what our buddy Lorenzo told told us but yeah would ninja turtles is a uh, it's going stronger stronger than ever 
You got Shredder and Cod. Oh, and he left me. He's still here, guys. Don't worry. Uh, speaking of other games, we got our confirmation of Red Dead Redemption. It's not a remake, as some people thought it would be. It's more so of a of a port of anything, and it's coming to the Switch and the PS4. Not Xbox, though, but that's understandable. It's already playable via backwards compatibility. Oh, and there he is. Jay, did you yeah. see about Red Dead Redemption? Did you play Red Dead, the first one? What's what's your takeaway? Um, from the no. I mean, I, I like that they're um, porting it over for PlayStation and uh, Nintendo Switch. Even though you're paying for it, and I just think that for PlayStation, they could have just easily transferred it over to the Classics catalog, like how Revolver is on there, I think. Yeah, but no, it is. I have it on the... Oh, oh, oh you have it? Yeah, I have a Revolver. Uh, I'll uh, give share it to you. It'll be my <laughs> early Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, like, uh, I don't know why they just couldn't have done that, but I mean... It's the um, price, too. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it is a good, good game. I've heard it was a good game. I've seen a um, little bit of gameplay on it. Oh, you never played I, it personally? Yeah, I, I've never played it. The only one I played was Revolver. Uh, did you play uh, what's called Red Dead 2? Um, I only played the online version of Red Dead 2, so I didn't. Really, yeah. story. That's it was good, good though. That's pretty good. Yeah. Our buddy Drizzy loves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard, I heard a lot of people actually love it. Yeah. I mean, I'll say this: I do think fifty dollars is a little much, especially considering it's what it came out two thousand ten. So, yeah, it's been quite a while. Also, no PS5 version. Like, yeah, I know they said, oh, you can play it with backwards compatibility, but, I mean, could have been that much of a of, of a hard work to port it to PS5, you know, upscale it and give it a better frame rate? I don't think so. Yeah. Then again, we're talking about Rockstar here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not not Sir Simp, not not anyone. Just Rockstar. Not Activision. <laughs> Konami. Yeah. Ubisoft. Are these those lovely people? Mm-hmm. Yeah, lovely. Will you, Will you be getting Red Dead J? Or will you just wait till it goes on sale? Maybe. Um, I'd probably wait till it goes on sale. Yeah. Or if it goes to the... Do you think it'll go to the the PlayStation Plus? At some point? Uh, I would say... Probably. Well, we all uh, know the games you're getting. Especially one of them that you talked about last episode. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there alone. <laughs> now we were here in spirit. <laughs> you were levitating. <laughs> yeah, all you can do, all you can do is just hear me. <laughs> hey, that was that was Geek's idea. Shout out, Geek. <laughs> yeah, blame him. Fight him. Do do a Geek <laughs> fight. I don't know. UFC 2027. Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, if it goes to PlayStation Plus, I'll definitely be picking it up. Yeah. I 
I might get it if it goes on sale. Like, if, like if I just have the money for it and just, like, see it's on sale. Like, okay, yeah, try that out. But then other than that, I don't think I will. Oh, yeah, it was on premium previously. Or the, correction, the PS3 version was on the premium, to my understanding. But then it got removed. Uh, yeah, it was probably uh, from streaming. Yeah. Probably due to this, they were like, yeah, that's not really no point. Yeah. But yeah, Red Dead. I, I will say this, too. It's nice to have it portably. As someone who holds mm-hmm. a switch, it is a nice thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it comes with Undead Nightmare. Yeah. Who, who doesn't love Western zombies? Or yeah. or all that fun stuff. Yeah. I, I forgot it came with Undead Nightmare. <laughs> You're all about that Dead by Daylight stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right the oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you know what, what else? To a uh, horror or action yeah. horror? The director of Prey kind of alluded to a sequel recently. Mm, when did he do that? Uh, he was like doing an interview. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Let me see if I can do it here. Yeah, it was like. It was a Dan Trachenberg. He was uh, uh, speaking to the playlist. He said, I can't really say anything about that right now. But I'll say while we're finishing the movie, we were having really exciting conversations. The studio, myself, the writer, and the producers about what crazy things we could, could we do next. Sorry. And I've never stopped. No one stopped thinking about how cool things could be going forward. What, what what does the thinker think? Hey, I'm all for it. I, I love Fred. Yeah. Well, me, me you have talked a lot how good Prey was. Prey was so good. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, that, that is probably the best sequel to uh, Predator. Yeah. Or prequel. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, no, but, but I get you. It was like a, a good like installment because, like, you know, we love the series. Me, you be playing hunting grounds, but oh yeah, it, even as someone who liked the uh, Predator Two and Predators, the, well, not so much the Predator, but they just, they just don't, they just don't, they I don't know, they don't have the same magic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I really gotta tell you that they don't really live up to what I did back in eighty seven. It's quite, it's quite close. Yeah. I mean, it, it went back to its uh, roots: the uh, hunted becoming the hunters. Yeah, hunting the hunter. Like, damn. <laughs> and then you just gotta do the whole like. That whole setting they did, they could do anything. Fuel of Japan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they could go to Japan. They could go to Africa, um, Australia. Like, I'm doing like, World they, War II. <laughs> hey, the Transformers could do it. He, like, he ends the war. <laughs> <laughs> they wreck on it. <laughs> yeah. They're like, whatever you thought about World War II, that ain't happened. Predator was there on this battlefield. 
we'll just have to see. Well, well as he's gone. No, oh, no. there he is. <laughs> no, I was going to ask you, do you think, given how positively received it was, do you think they'll do a direct to Hulu or maybe do a theatrical? Uh, I, I would say definitely theatrical. Because, I mean, with, with the success of Prey, if you got the same dude that has a vision for the sequel and just on Hulu, a streaming service, he saw how much it made, he's probably thinking, oh my God, imagine how much we would make if it's theatrical. Yeah. For real. <laughs> It's just a cool character it. too. Yeah, yeah. How do you say the the species race? Yautija? Yautija? Yautja. Yautja. Yeah. I, I always but I always butcher, but I got Jay here to to correct me. Mm-hmm. He corrects everyone, even Lorenzo what's D'Angelo. <laughs> yeah, we had we'll talk about that. What where's where's the D? <laughs> we have pretty um also i mean anything that that isn't the predator you know is a good sign of relief yeah i mean we know you loved it right oh yeah wait about <laughs> predator oh no god no <laughs> I know Lorenzo likes it. We ain't talking smack with Lorenzo. We love you, man. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. Jay's just like not saying anything. He's like, ah, I can say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Predator. Jay, you're just picking fights with everyone now. Geek, Lorenzo, the Predator. <laughs> I'm on a roll, man. <laughs> I got the rush. Well, you want some too? Uh, I'll pass. Okay. I feel like you're, you're the kind of guy if anyone's fighting you, you're just going to be like, and you're about to get your ass kicked. You're like, I can't tell you this. You'll push someone back and you start lev- levitating. Hey, <laughs> can you get back down here. What are you nah, doing up there? Yeah. Staying away from you. <laughs> just let's <laughs> say, no, nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> Or it's like we all do a team up. We just like we the culture shock team assembles, and everyone's just <laughs> running towards whatever thread. We just see you up levitating <laughs> instead of running. <laughs> <laughs> With the Avengers team, do 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 do. Hold on, what is he doing? Yeah, we were running, and we just look up behind us. <laughs> You say, don't worry about it. Let's, let's take the strut down. Okay, yeah, don't worry about it. Just mind your business. Look forward. <laughs> Look forward. We shall. We shall do. Just like they should with DC. Look forward. Move forward. Uh, apparently, it's been an interesting situation recently. So Gal Gadot came out recently and she said that they were developing Wonder Woman 3 or a third Wonder Woman movie. But recently mm-hmm. uh, it was reported, reported or I saw this in Variety. I think it was that we reported that. That is actually not the case. So what what is, what is going on? Jay, what do you think? Uh... I mean, I, I'm starting to think that she might have slipped up <laughs> and said maybe a little too much. And now, like, uh, like James and uh, her are trying to cover up, like, oh, yeah. Or, like, that, that wasn't, that, that was taken out of context, basically. But, you know, I, 
I think they do have something planned for a third one to open film. Whether it's with Dalgada or not. I mean, I think they still have something planned. Galganot. <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. No, I've I've liked Galanda roles. I, I really have. I, I think she's great, but I just I do think it's like we said last time. It's time to move on. Like the Suicide Squad, yeah, they, we've seen them in two movies. You can keep. You don't like that. Wasn't part of like. I mean, that was part of the universe, but it wasn't. Yeah, it, guess, it wasn't like big connected to the story. Like the, yeah, like just... Batman showed up, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they only showed up for like uh, a few minutes, max, and the threats they fought wasn't anywhere near like dark side level. Or it wasn't even leading up to dark side. Yeah. So it's like that makes sense, and I could see some other characters maybe staying. But I mean that's that's the big three, the Holy Trinity. You know, Affleck gone. Who knows who's gonna play him in the DCU? Or Superman already got cast recasted. Yeah, it it'd be just awkward. Yeah. Like I feel like she'd be she'd be she'd be like. I can see her like getting on set, like just seeing like the silhouettes of Superman and Batman. Like, hey guys, do they just turn around like wait, you're not you're not Alf, like you're not Kevin, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> who are you people? <laughs> like her wearing the same suit and it's just them like, oh hi. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing? Huh? It's like Ezra Miller from uh, the Flash. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this guy? Yeah. Uh, then there's Blue Beetle, which whew, we'll we'll have to see how that how that's gonna do. Which brings us to our main and last topic of today's show, our Blue Beetle preview, with our with our projections there's projections of a 30 million opening weekend and you know some reactions have been decent so far but anyway I'll just go ahead and ask you Jay what do you think of Blue Beetle so far how's it looking for you are you excited are you just gonna wait What what's your main takeaway How, have you thought of the marketing trailers let her rip. Um, I mean, I am excited to see like what Blue Beetle has, but I'm not gonna watch it in theaters. Most likely, I'm probably just gonna wait till it's on Max or something. And I mean, it it looks good. Like I've seen the reviews; it looks pretty good. And, they said it was good. But I mean, the, the marketing really hasn't been doing it justice. I mean, fans on Twitter have actually started their own marketing for this movie. Oh, yeah, the Burger King? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Blue Beetle Whopper. Bro, yeah. I thought it was real. I actually thought it was real. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I... I I genuinely thought it was real for a second because I think you even asked me like, "Is that even real?" I said, "Yeah." And then like, I found those other day. I'm like, "Oh shit! How, how, how do yeah. we tell him? How do I?" Tell him? <laughs> yeah, like, like I, I definitely thought it was real because I mean, they did it with a Spider Verse burger. Like Burger King did a Spider Verse burger, and it was red. <laughs> so I'm, those pops. Are you gonna get the pop, Jay? I already got one. Oh, that's right. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. I know that uh, I got one too. Yeah, I, I saw it in the store, and I was like, "That's actually that actually looks cool. I get it." Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, enough of dolls. But Bluebeard, do you think it? Would do you think it'll be good? Like at least box office. I know that's like the main thing. But do you think it could have a slow start and then? Or, or do you think? Also, remember they're not marketing, or they are like promoting it with the director, but they're not really doing interviews with the strike going on. Yeah. Uh, I mean. I think it would definitely have a slow increase because I think, like, maybe once people go out to see it and then, like, they actually genuinely like it and they give a good review, I think then people are going to start being like, oh, okay, so this is my confirmation that, okay, maybe I, I'll give this a shot. Even though there hasn't been much on the movie, people have said these are like the best things to look out for and stuff like that. So they they don't really know anything, but with the reviews, I think they would be able to like get a good idea, see it if they want to. Do you think we'll have any like big DC cameos or it'll be mainly standalone? I think it would be mainly standalone to probably just like introduce them into DCU. Then maybe I don't know, Superman Legacy. They might like reference Blue Beetle again or like show them. Yeah. And my takeaway, I think it looks fun. It's got that homecoming vibe. Or Shazam, yeah. like, even, like, and the cast looks straight. You got George Lopez in there, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. It's, is it, is it me or just, like, people say, like, they're superhero fatigue or, you know. I don't, I don't know if I agree 100% because, Look at Guardians of the Galaxy three. That yeah, made that's a that. huge boatload of money, and people responded well to that. Yeah. Sp- oh yeah, Spider Verse too. Like. Yeah. Like, I I don't believe in that superhero fatigue at all, because I mean, did people ever get sick and tired of? Like eighty action movies, no. Are people getting sick and tired of Fast and Furious? So, or, or you hear people, oh, not another comedy, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you look into the towards the future, they have something big planned, and people are gonna want to like see how. It leads up to that, so there's still gonna be people going to theaters watching. But with Blue Beetle, it, it had no marketing. Yeah. It had barely any marketing, so like that was kind of just like, oh, like do I even go and see this? <laughs> you know something good James Gunn said in an interview. What? Well, I'm I'm a paraphrase because, but essentially he said he doesn't believe in superhero fatigue, but he does feel like there is fatigue in terms of like the repetition of like, well, yeah, essentially like there's like repetition in terms of like the stories how they go. When you think about it, so. yeah, mostly yeah. like, like oh, the Flash. Oops, I uh, I messed up. And now I gotta fix everything and now to sacrifice. Oh, uh, you know, Shazam. Oh, I messed up. I like, you gotta change it up. Yeah. Oh, Black Adam. Oops, I messed up. Now I got <laughs> like, no way home. Yeah, no way home. But, well, then again, no way home made like almost two billion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean that, that that's the better one out of all of them, but. Same, kind of the same thing. Oops, yeah. I messed up. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and same same goes for Marvel. I know we're talking about Blue Beetle mainly here, but same goes for Marvel. It's gonna like, you know, with the strike going on, hopefully they can like realize, oh, we got to change it up a bit. We yeah. got to go back to why Phase One's Phase One through Three were so beloved. Yeah. yeah. Also, well, we got to talk back about Blue Beetle. That suit is just awesome. I don't think I don't think I've heard anything bad about that suit. Oh yeah, that suit is oh gorgeous. <laughs> like I'll admit, when I heard there was a blue beetle, and they were doing a what's his what's his name again? The, the alter ego, red beetle. No, the, the <laughs> alter ego, <laughs> red beetle. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't remember. I thought I thought when you meant the alter ego, I thought you. Meant Literally meant red people. No, I'll look it up for the people attack us in the comments. Yeah. Uh, Jaime Reyes. What? The? Why'd you say alter ego? You could have said the kid. The kid. I don't know. Alter ego. <laughs> well, you don't. Anyway. <laughs> when, when you said alter ego, I think you meant like, oh yeah, evil. Oh, like evil all version. Nemesis? Is that what you... Okay. <laughs> I let it slide, because you're Jay. <laughs> and you're awesome. Everyone here loves you, right? Maybe. Maybe. Don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I was going to say, when I when I heard they were doing that version, I was like... Like, that's a cool suit in the comics. It's, it's a nice-looking suit. But could it translate yeah. to live action? I remember, I don't know if you've seen, like, the... Have you you haven't seen Smallville, have you? Or did you watch any of it? Or mm, I've only seen clips. Yeah, but but you know they had their version of Blue Beetle. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's like they already tried it once. But I don't know how they could do it. I mean, like, but then again, nowadays, you know, we got we got more good than bad. But then, mm-hmm. like, we saw those first uh, set photos. I'm like, okay, that looks pretty good. That looks actually really fucking good. Part of my language yeah. like my second F bomb, but still. <laughs> yeah, and I mean it's all practical too. Ooh. Yeah. And I, I'll admit when I first saw that trailer, I was like a little turned off by those like the the like it was cool to see the what's it called, him being able to make his own weapons, but then I'm like the oh then he's gonna make it into something a little cheesy it's grown on me. It looks it looks badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. Jay, J- are you going to get your own scarab? Uh, no, because, I mean, I don't, I don't want to have to waste my clothes every time I transform into the suit. <laughs> I got, I got, I got some cool shirts, and uh, I, I don't want to be wearing that on an off day. <laughs> you know, I got, like, I got this of... shirt from Hyper Heroes. Like, so, sorry, Jay, you got to go save the world. Aw, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so the shirt. And Vulcan yeah, Blue yeah, is like, dude, man. how do you like that? How are you liking that shirt? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's doing its own world building too. I don't know if you've seen like the, like the recent, more recent, com- like spots. Uh, they did a, they actually revealed, a, or they already hinted at him, but they straight up mentioned Ted Cord, you know, the original Blue Beetle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're already kind of like building up the, yeah. Who knows? Maybe we can see a reference to Booster Gold. Yeah. And, and also, uh, George Lopez's character also mentioned Batman. Oh, yeah. Batman's a fascist. Yeah. Batman that was, a I, like, fascist. I thought that was a funny line. I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was funny. <laughs> Do you think, um, What's it called? Oh yeah, they there was confirmed two post credits. 
I didn't so, know that. Yeah, uh, well, I, I don't know what they are, so don't worry. I won't, I won't spoil. We already had a little Super and Lowe situation. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, before Jay attacks me, no. I already apologized to Jay. I even, I even like, sent him. I even, like, invited him to dinner. I'm like, dude, let's go to Red Robin. I'm joking, people. None of this ever happened. <laughs> Jay's just so confused right now. He's like, huh? Never been to Red Robin. Well, you never been to Red Robin? No. <laughs> I've, I think I've only gone there once. How about Burnerville? No. Never. Never. Heard that, no. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> learn something new every day. Yes. You know, there was a point when Ben Affleck was rumored to appear. What has he been rumored to appear in the next DC movie? Well, remember, Aqu- he was practically confirmed for Aquaman. Because mm-hmm. Jason Momoa shared in social media, like, hey, good to have you around, brother, or whatever the fuck he said. Yeah, and it said hashtag Aquaman too. Like it was him, but recently we found out they cut that. So, yeah, I'm calling right now. I think Blue Beetle might make more than Flash. Like I, I'm trying to knock the Flash down, but I think that's that's the reality. I can definitely see it. Beverly will make more than Shazam. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor Shazam. Yeah. Pain. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll change the hierarchy of power. The hierarchy of power in the DCU. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's right. <laughs> you know what's also pretty funny? Is well, uh, I guess this we can touch on this because Dwayne Johnson said it recently that like. Because, like, oh, yeah, the reason, you know, Black Adam 2 is not happening is because a uh, change in leadership of, of WB and DC. Sure, buddy. Sure. Yeah. Because Black Adam made so much money. Mm-hmm. And people loved it. And you definitely didn't jump the gun. Yeah. Um. Not to mention, he was practically bossing everyone. So you can't yeah. clue Shazam here. Shazam can't appear. You can't even mention him. Yeah, that, that's what I meant by jumping the gun. You wanted oh. to fight Superman and not your main opponent. Oh, right, right. It's like, it's cool to yeah. see Superman and him fight, but no. Yeah, but I mean, like, you gotta, you gotta build up to that, man. Thanks. Also, jumping the gun or a gun jumped him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was dumb. I, I feel bad for Cowell above all else because dude, dude was like hyping in his turn. Dude even posted about it. And then, like, well, was, it, was it like a month later? Yeah. He, uh, like that. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm, I'm, stepping, I'm stepping down. I don't people blame God. People have been hating on God recently. Like, dude. God knows what he's doing. Yeah. Could it suck? Maybe. Who are we to judge? Like in the last mm-hmm. nine years, we had nothing but good things out of him. Guardians trilogy, the Guardian special, the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll work with us. He'll make the Nerd Slayer movie. Maybe. Maybe. I gotta I gotta dap him up. <laughs> In the meanwhile, Jay, dab me up. Alright, bro. 
but <laughs> yeah. I, and I mean oh, she's oh my bad. Oh my bad. No, no, you can get it. I was gonna say technically the only thing he's done was Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. He hasn't even officially done anything with the DCU. I don't know what people hate. People blame him for like ruining the flash. Like he was very he had nothing to the only thing he changed about that was like setting up the rest of the DCU back then when it was still gonna keep going. But he had nothing to do with the story or really anything else. The Clooney thing was his idea, but like Yes. Y'all can't really blame him. Mm-hmm. Same goes for like Shazam, Fear of the Gods, and then Aquaman, Lost Kingdom. To my understanding, yes. he had like little to no involvement in Blue Beetle. And from what it sounds like, he's really liked it. But then again, he really liked Flash, so we'll have to we'll have to keep it up and I. Yeah. Also, I was gonna ask, what else? What is uh, Blue Beetle competing with? Because uh, we got Barbenheimer still kind of going, Turtles. Yeah, I was gonna say, I can only see besides Turtles. That's it. I mean, oh wait, uh, Turismo? Is that like two weeks or? Yeah, I think that's August 27th, right? Yeah, so I was going to say that's a little later. So it's, it has potential to do good. Yeah. Well, remember, uh, remember Elemental people thought was going to flop? That one actually yeah. ended up doing okay money for them. Yeah, apparently that was one of the highest grossing Pixar movies in recent years. I was like, damn. <laughs> I still have to check it out, but yeah. Well, actually, that's been a good one of Disney's most recent, like, in terms of, like, like non-Marvel stuff. That's been, like, the one that's made them the most money, like Indiana Jones or Haunted Mansion. Or... Oh, I forgot about that. Dude, I forgot about it too. About like a week after like, it came out, I saw trailer like like now playing or a commercial. Like, oh shit, that's out now. Yeah. That is out now. What? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> no, I dude, and well, that Disney is another thing we can talk about because yeah, especially with the strike going on, that'd be that'd be an interesting topic but yeah I think Blue Beetle I will say this I, I think the the audiences are going to love the character oh yeah that's for sure like I can already tell uh, I, do you know how to say the actor's name <laughs> I don't want to bother Solo uh, let's see Zolo Maridoña right I'm a, I'm a Latino and I'm fucking up his name. <laughs> said right. <laughs> yeah, no, you said it right. I just, I just didn't know his full name. Solo Maridoña. Uh, dude, he, yeah. he looks... I haven't seen Cobra Kai, but I hear he's very good at that. But he looks like he's just having fun. He, he looks like he owns this role already. Yeah. Yeah. So assuming he does stay for the DCU and how is he is truly the first character, dude? Imagine him just interacting with Superman, Green Lantern, Hawkgirl, Mister Terrific, you know, Batman, Wonder Woman. Like possibilities are endless, bro. Oh yeah, don't mm-hmm. forget Jigga Man. <laughs> Blue Beetle is just gonna be flying, and then he's gonna turn around and just you levitating. <laughs> like, how do you get it? Oh, like, how do you get up here? Like, don't worry about it. Just turn around and just keep levitating. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was the only person able to fly here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. 
or you didn't see anything. Yeah. It's just you with your mask. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Yes, sir. But yeah, we'll have to see it definitely next week. Uh, it comes out this week, right? Yeah, it comes out this week. All right. Damn, dude. That was, uh, either it's me was, you know, lots of stuff going on, or them not marketing a lot, or both, or mainly. <laughs> see, that's the thing, dude. I'm excited for this movie, but they. They have a hyped it up too. Like, hopefully, with Guns, Superman Legacy. Oh, not hopefully. They're going to do it. They're like, we have James Gunn here with us. He's going to. We're going to screw him over. Yeah. Like, if we do, Kevin Feige is going to show up. Rose going <laughs> to become Kingpin from Daredevil. <laughs> How do you do that scream again? Ah. Bro just, <laughs> yeah, bro just kills the the bodyguards. Do oh. <laughs> 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 do, but yeah, that's. I think that wraps it up. Unless you want to do add anything, anything you heard. Mm-hmm. Oh, kind of a slow week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll be back next week with more nerdy goodness. Maybe some guests. Maybe. Well, for now, this has been episode seven. I've been joined here by the man, the myth, the Jigga himself, J Buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Where can people find you, sir? Um, they they find me at uh, James Rodriguez on Instagram. Just on Instagram. Yeah. All right. How about on uh, MySpace? Uh, about that old. <laughs> Who is? You. Wait, you said you? Oh, I said you. You. Hey, that is true. I think it's a geek. I think it's a geek. Oh, you think he had like No, do you think he's that old? <laughs> You're the only person that I know has my space. Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they can follow you on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me on uh where you'll find on Instagram, I post stuff there on threads too, I guess. Uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, Watcher 2017, on MySpace if you still are on there, I guess. Check out the official server of Nerd Slayer, Spidey Slayer, on Discord, our Facebook group, same name. Check out Culture Shock. On our socials, and uh, you know, while you're at it, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And yeah, this has been a has been a good episode. And uh, till next time, stay nerdy. <laughs>